Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to learn the Bob Dylan classic Don't Think Twice It's Alright in fingerstyle. So first I'm going to play you the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord by chord, finger position by finger position with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy. Okay, so before we start, I would like to remind you that if you're having trouble with the material here on Lick and Riff, if you're still a beginner and you feel that you're not yet ready for my Complete Guitar Freedom course series, and the material here on Lick and Riff is a little bit more difficult than you can handle, I now have a seven hour complete beginner guitar course from A to Z, designed to take you from complete beginner with no guitar knowledge to intermediate so you can handle the material here on Lick and Riff. The course is called Strike a Chord. It's seven hours long, seven hours long, and it encompasses everything, everything from basic technique and chords to solos and scales, to musicality, to rhythm, to just everything you want to know and everything you don't know that you want to know. So check it out, the link is below in the description and it's on a platform called Graphy. It's a new platform for online course learning. Um, especially designed for mobile and tablets. It's in portrait mode, so the entire screen is filled with course material instead of having to turn the tablet around or just having the video on a third of the screen. So it's extremely comfortable and it's especially for this day and age of online learning. So click the link below in the description, go to Graphy and check out my complete beginner course that will get you ready for all the intermediate and advanced material here on Lick and Riff. Right, so let's begin. Okay, so this is a pretty straightforward song in the key of C. So naturally you start with a C chord. Okay, now you can play this song with Travis picking, okay? Or you can play it as a ballad. Okay? In case you're not proficient in Travis picking yet, okay? I have a 20 beginner Travis picking exercises video here on Lick and Riff. Okay, you can watch that and get better with Travis picking, but you can play it as a ballad as well. So don't worry about the Travis picking, it's just my stylish choice for this uh, for this arrangement, okay? But you can play it as a ballad. Okay, no Travis picking needed. Okay, so you start with C. And if you play it as a ballad, you just play the chord with the second string four times. Okay? Okay, 
But if you play it with crevice picking, use the arpeggio. Okay? Just make sure that you're playing the second string enough to make sure that it's clear that it's the melody note. Okay? You don't have to do it too often. You can just play it once or twice. Okay? So... Okay? Don't have to play it to the lyrics of beta. Then you have G over B, meaning just two on the fifth string, okay? With three, three, zero on the first string. Okay, with all the open strings in between. Okay, this is a G chord. Just starting from the, the second bass note instead of G. So, G over B. Three, three, zero. So, Okay, you can just play it thin or, okay, you can uh, thicken the harmony, okay, you can play all the open strings in between these two notes. Then you have A minor, just strings two and three, that's it, okay, that's the melody. So C, and then G over B, A minor. Then you have F. Now in the original song, it's only F. And it's one, 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 three on the second string. That's it. Okay. I decided to add F minor in the middle. Okay. To create okay, a turnaround in the middle of the chord. Okay, so you have... Okay, and you have a small turnaround there, just a hint at a turnaround. Um, so I put it on like this. It's the finger style F. It's one, two, three on strings, two, three, and four, with my thumb on one on the bass. Okay, and it's just one, 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 and then three on the second string. Now in the middle, I change into a bar on the first fret. Okay, so it's F. Okay, three C notes. Okay on the second string and then I bar the first fret okay and then I play one one three so it's F three notes and then twice with the bar and then three on the second string so it's okay pretty simple it's all about the chord here okay and then you have C with the open E string, so you don't have to actually change anything, it's just the chord. And then it's G, and I play it with three on the second string. Okay? Again, just for harmonic purposes. And then you have this. Okay? Now, it all depends on the way you want to express this line. Okay? I just play the open first string, three on the second string, open first string. It's C again, okay? So it's... And then you have the G over B again. And now it's three, zero, three on the first string. So it's... And then it's A minor. Okay, so you can slide into... Uh, a bar on five. So it's five, five, five with the open A string. Okay, now you can do the whole chord. Okay, but you don't have to. Okay? Just the half bar suffices. And then you have D7 over F sharp. So it's D7 with your thumb on F sharp this time, on two on the bass. And then you have... Okay, now, again, it's an arrangement. It's one and three and one on the second string. You can play it any way you want. Just start with the bass. Okay, so... Okay, you can play around with the two notes, one and three on strings, um, on, the, on the second string. Okay, one and three. Any way you want, again. Okay, you can play the first string as well. And then you have G. Okay? You play the third string. And then you have three on the fourth. 
making this a G7, right? So... Right? Then you have C, again, one, 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 and then three on the second string. Right? And then you have C7 with the open first string. So the three goes from the second string to the third string. Okay, using your little finger. Okay, so C, three, and then, okay, the, the little finger goes to the third string on three. C to C7. And then you have uh, F to F minor again, okay, but this time it's just one on the second string. Okay, and then you have this. It's D over F sharp. So instead of D7, you play a D chord. Again, with two on the sixth string with your thumb. Just the second string. And then you have G with the open third string again. Then you have It's C, G over B, and A minor again. This time, C has the second string twice and then the open first string. Right, just. And then you have G over B this time, just three on the first string. You can play the open first string when you uh, move to A minor, but you don't have to. Okay, you don't have to do it. You, you can just. Okay, just play the three. And then A minor, five, 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 and the open A string. And then you have F, F over G, and C. So you have F, and then, okay? It's F with G on the bass. So you have to change fingerings here. You have F, you take the third finger to the bass for G, to the uh, E bass string, and you put the little finger instead on the D string. Okay, so it's F over G. Okay, and I play strings two, three, two. And C. Okay, again, just the second string. That's it, the melody note. So it's, uh, it's a pretty straightforward song. Um, if you play it as a ballad, it's not as demanding as it is with Travis picking um, because you can play it freestyle you don't have to play it quantized in time uh, so experiment with it have fun download the tab for free from the website all the tabs everything is for free here on Lick and Ref so um, thank you for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video thank you very much for watching bye for now have fun